Good morning and welcome to A Word in Season. We hope that these are a real source of encouragement for you, but also that they help you hear from God in the midst of this season. And the word that I want to talk to you about this morning is trust. Trust is huge for us as followers of Jesus. It's at the very core of our faith. Paul says in Ephesians chapter 2, For by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not of your own doing, it is a gift of God. By grace through faith. And that word faith is a combination of two things, belief and trust. I believe that Jesus is who he says he is and that he accomplished on the cross exactly what the scriptures foretold. That's belief. But then there's trust. And trust says not only do I believe, because we know that belief in and of itself actually isn't enough. James says that even the demons believe and tremble. They shudder at the thought of God. So not only do I believe, I place my trust in his sacrifice. I take it away from myself and I put it in him. In fact, I entrust myself to him in an act of surrender. That's what faith is. That's how we started this journey. That's where we found life and hope for eternity by placing our trust in something and someone outside of ourselves because we knew that we couldn't do it on our own. And yet the brokenness of the human heart means that we find it so easy to forget that our natural tendency tainted by sin is actually to take that trust back and to put it in ourselves or in the stuff that we've accumulated or even in the people around us. And it's not right. It's counter to who we are as the people of God that we would trust in something other than Him. So I wonder, where is your trust? Where are you looking What are you leaning on in the midst of COVID-19? Is it in your ability just to hold everything together? Because, you know, if you just work hard enough, then it'll be okay. Or is it in the stuff, the savings that you've accumulated for a rainy day? I mean, I think this would count as a rainy day. Is that where your trust is found? We're so foolish as human beings that we, we think we're safe because we build these walls of stuff, of money, of houses, savings, investments that are there to protect us from the outside world. And on the whole, they insulate us from the suffering in our world. And yet we've seen in the last couple of months that all of that can be stripped away in a heartbeat, totally out of our control. And then what? Where is your trust? in the midst of this season. And I preached on this just a couple of months ago, Jeremiah chapter 17. Blessed is the man whose trust is whose trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. He is like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when heat comes for its leaves remain green. And he's not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit. Blessed is the one who trusts in the Lord, because he's really the only one in this world that is truly faithful. He's good all the time, and all the time he is good. He's always working for our best, which means even now, in the midst of everything that's going on around our world, God is working for your best. And I pray that you would have the eyes to see that. He's for us. His heart is to bless us and to lead us into life. That's who he is. And you go all the way back to Genesis chapter 1 and you can see that. God created us in his image. And then the very first thing that he does before we've done anything is bless us. It's the first thing that God does to bless us. That's the heart of our God. That's someone 
who you can trust because that's someone who's truly good, who's for us. We are a people of faith and our trust is in him and in him alone because it's the only place where it's truly safe. In the hands of a God who loves us more than we can really understand, who's for us and is always working for our best even now. Our trust is safe with him. Let's pray. God, I thank you first and foremost for who you are. That this is only a reality because of your goodness. We can trust in you because you're truly kind, compassionate, gracious, merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. It's who you are. You're our loving father, our heavenly king, and you're for us. I thank you for that, and I, I pray, God, that you'd forgive us when we take our trust back away from you and we start to put it into things that can and will let us down, and we've seen that. It's so easy. I find myself doing it. God, forgive me for being so forgetful, for being so short-sighted, and for trusting in things other than you. You are our rock and our salvation. You are with us walking beside us each and every day, and our trust should be in you, for you are trustworthy. And I know, God, there are people who are going through serious stuff in the midst of COVID-19. People have lost their jobs, people who are struggling financially, struggling health-wise. And Father, I pray, I pray that you would help them to place their trust in you and to leave it there, but I also pray, God, that you would display your kindness, your graciousness, and your faithfulness in their life. Would you be at work powerfully in their circumstances? And would you prove yourself to be trustworthy? Would you evidence your goodness in our lives? This we pray for in the precious name of Jesus. Amen.